Hello guys, this video we will discuss solving a tricky integration problem by Feynman's Integrate Tricks. According to the Feynman's Integrate methods, we don't solve this one directly and we will not solve it by part. Instead of we define a new function f, f stands for Feynman, and a new variable t equals to the integration 0, 1, 1 minus x power t over ln x dx. So this t is replace the 2 of the equation. And then we take differentiation to both sides. In the right hand side, because this is a partial differentiate, to dt, we use the del rather than d, but uh, it is the same operation. So in the right hand side, it becomes f prime t, while the right hand side, the integration remain, and we're going to differentiate the one with t. Differentiate one over dt is a zero minus differentiate of x t over d t will give us the original x t ln x divided by the original ln x dx so we have a ln x cancel each other and we have integration of 0 1 negative x t dx so the differentiation over dt is done. Now we're going to deal with integration over dx. Integration of x negative xt is pretty direct. It is negative t plus 1. Okay, and then x t plus 1. 0 to 1. So therefore it is equals to negative 1 power t over t plus 1 minus 0 as we know 1 power t is still t we have the answer that f prime t is actually equals to negative 1 over t plus 1 let's integrate both sides okay so to get f t we need to integrate the negative 1 over t plus 1 over dt. That gives us a negative ln t plus 1 plus a constant c. But we don't like to have a constant c, so we need to find a way to calculate what is c. When t equals to 0, we have a f0 equals to negative ln 1 plus c okay ln 1 is actually 0 so we know c must be equals to f 0 so how do we get the f 0 to get the constant c equal to f 0 let's go back to the original function f t that we define by putting f 0 here we are getting the integration of 0 1 1 minus x power 0 over ln x dt x power 0 is equals to 1 so 1 minus 1 equal to 0 that's meaningless to integrate over 0 so f0 simply equals to 0 and therefore c equals to 0 we just eliminate the c now if you notice that this is the original ft that we define and then there is another ft we derive along the way where ft equals to negative ln t plus 1 plus c. So we actually have two ft. ft is actually equals to the integration of 0, 1, 1 minus xt over ln x dx, which is also equal to the 1 we just found negative ln t plus 1 plus c and then we know c is a 0 so we just delete it 
in order to find the original integration that we need which is 0 1 1 minus x power 2 over ln x we need to find f2 why because here is supposedly t and we replace t equals to 2 so we are looking for f2 actually so what is f2 replace the f2 into the equation that we get from here is actually negative ln 3 and here is the answer thank you for watching my video do subscribe to my channel i see you in the next video bye bye